I would like to take a few minutes to recognize some of the many organizations represented here today which have been deeply involved in the planning, construction, and equipping of these color studio facilities. As the programmers and users, we realize that we are here today only through their collective efforts. First, the U.S. Army Electronics Command and the Television Audio Support Activity. The procurement, testing, and installation of the studio equipment have been done under their auspices by the prime, prime contractor, RCA. We have been gratified at the speed and professionalism with which this highly sophisticated system has been installed and tested. The beginning of color television for our uh, armed forces personnel and their families within Europe uh, had, adds a new special dimension to a programming service that I think is unequaled anywhere in the world. And we are indeed fortunate for having AFN color television coming to our communities. Now, in addition to inaugurating the color programming, though, I believe today it's also an appropriate time to recognize the long-term interest and concern which have led to a television system which now satisfies, or at least is broadcast, uh, to about 90 percent of all of our armed forces stationed in the Federal Republic of Germany. Complete the symbolic act of uncapping, uh, which we have identified as the changeover from black and white to color television. If you would remove I can't the, destroy this camera, can no, I? No, sir. It's absolutely <laughs> safe. Okay. Just there we go. Thank you very much, General Tice. Uh, what remains on our program is a walkthrough of the television facilities. training but it's just on this particular it is equipment. to orient our people on, on this particular system. welcome to afn television afn europe has been providing news information and entertainment to soldiers airmen sailors and marines since 1943 